Having been spared the bombs of the Second World War, the Japanese city of Kyoto remains one of the most beautiful and traditional parts of the country. And Kyoto is also the training ground for one of the most famous symbols of Japan, Maiko. In a custom that stretches back over 300 years, Maiko celebrates the traditional role of a Japanese woman with grace, poise and elegance. A Maiko is the ultimate gentlewoman who's only too happy to entertain people with her skills of singing, dancing and music. And it's my challenge to become one for a day. Konnichiwa. This is Sachi who's going to be helping me to get ready. Arigato. Well, this is my basic kimono, which um, I'm going to be training in. So excuse me a minute while I get changed. The kimono is part of Japan's traditional costume. They're made up of many layers of tightly bound fabric and Maiko wear them every day. Well, if this is the basic kimono, I can't imagine what the other one's going to be like. I've still got another layer to go. Must have about four on already. Arigato. To be a Maiko, you need to be about five foot four or under. Now, I'm about five foot seven, so um, I'm a bit taller, but looking down, it doesn't look too short. I think I'll be able to get away with it. And now I'm ready for my training at the Maiko Training School. Arigato, Sachi. The Cabarenjo is like a Western style finishing school where girls learn the art of entertaining alongside etiquette and manners. Wow, I've got a lot to learn. At 15, these girls are the youngest at the school. I had no idea what was going on, so I decided just to copy them. Once a Maiko graduates, she's given a job for life and earns huge respect in the community. My legs are really, really sore. I have to keep relaxing them like this. Okay, that's the first lesson over, so I'm on my way to the second lesson now, and I'm not really feeling too confident after that one because there's just so much to learn in such a short space of time. My next lesson involves learning to play a traditional Japanese drum called a sutsumi. Oh, oh, I've got my hand on top. I should have it underneath. Oh, dear. Got this all wrong. So, okay, thumb up there. And this is all before I've even started to learn how to play it. Okay, I've got sound effects to do. Oh. There was a time when many Japanese girls wanted to be a Maiko, but today the Maiko tradition is much less popular. My legs are really sore. I'm breaking out in a sweat because it's so sore to sit in this position. It's supposed to use hands to get up, but... Um... <laughs> I can't do it without it at the minute. <laughs> well, forget the musical instrument and the fan. The most difficult thing I'm learning to deal with is actually sitting in that position for such a long amount of time. But with my training over, it was back to see Sachi, who would transform me into a fully-fledged Maiko with the help of her mum. Oh, it's as if all my skin is being pulled and stretched in all directions. <laughs> Normally, of course, Maikos don't wear wigs, but I've got blonde hair. I've got both Sachi and your mother pulling me back and forth and holding on to this pole for dear life. 
OK, it's time for the big reveal as the mirror is turned around for me to see for the first time what it looks like to be a Michael. Oh, my goodness! Oh, that looks really scary. Hmm, my teeth look yellow. I don't think I sit the white colouring, <laughs> but at least I look like a Michael. <laughs> Check out my new footwear. They're called Zolly shoes and they're about 15 centimetres high and it's like having bricks tied to my feet. After an hour of pulling, tugging and tying, I headed off to work. Every evening in Kyoto, Maiko head for tea houses across the city where they entertain their guests. I'd arranged to meet 16-year-old Hukunao, who had just completed her six months of micro-training. All this gear, it's really heavy and hard to wear. How on earth have you got used to wearing it? I have to wear this all the time, so I'm used to it. Well, we better get ready because um, everyone's going to be here in just a few minutes, so we need to get ready. But there was just enough time for Hukunao to give me some last-minute training. While the others were talking in, I tried desperately to remember everything I'd been taught. Fun coming out. Sakura mi watasu kagiri mi ni yukam. Hey! Wow, great fit, great edition. Oh, cool! Oh, brilliant. Well done, Zoe. Yeah! You guys, I had hardly any time, but you know, I gave him a best shot. And I really do think I need those six months training that a real Michael gets. Oh, oh you did really well. Yeah, no, you did. Very you did. Oh, so it's great. It's lovely. Come on, let's lovely. go. Lovely. <laughs> Let's give a whole new meaning to platforms. <laughs> it's all really cool. Oh, she was all white in that, wasn't she? That was, she was. fantastic. We're oh, big hey. fans, oh, fan Dabiosi. <laughs> Enough already. <laughs> now then, if you would like to check out uh, Zoe's web diary, then make sure you go...